because of the overcast weather, we caught this bull hippo still feeding and moving slowly back towards his, his deeper water. He moved through the edge of a forest. He was headed to a big lagoon off the tip of one of these islands. This bull was in his prime. He was very slow and deliberate, didn't mind us much. He didn't have any scarring on his body, which is quite surprising for this area and this time of year. Another little surprise was the saddle bull stalk. They are incredibly beautiful in their breeding plumage. This little trickster was looking for fish very successfully. Caught this catfish in the shallow waters. We did find lions. The one female with the slightly deformed ear. Very, very distinct. With her was a young male seems like he's taken a bit of a hiding. A male of that age in someone else's territory is, is not a good thing. Any dominant male in this area will target him quite heavily. This is the black Asian giant tortoise, a species that inhabits evergreen forest in the northern and western parts of Thailand and eats a variety of soft plants. In Kenkrachan National Park, they are known to inhabit regions up to a thousand meters above sea level including areas with very steep slopes, which they are able to ascend and descend. We had hoped to be able to film this species because it has a very interesting feature of two apparent extra legs protruding from under the back of the carapace. These are not true legs, of course, uh, but appear to be extensions poking out from somewhere near the top of their real legs, complete with claws. At times, we could just see the claws of these extensions, especially when the tortoise was trying to climb a slope or over an object in its path. The rangers here say it is an adaptation to help stabilize them on the steep slopes. And in Thai, this animal is known as the six-legged tortoise because of this strange feature.
was definitely not wasting time, tearing and ripping at the carcass, always alert. I did notice that the jackal was in an excellent condition, beautiful fur, and I could clearly see those silver and grey markings on its back, so distinctive of this jackal. Clearly these jackals have very strong teeth and jaws. As it was tearing away at the meat, I managed to get a good glimpse of those amber eyes darting in my direction every now and again. To have been so close to this jackal whilst it was feeding felt like a privilege for me. We spent some time moving in between these rocky canyons, searching amongst the, the sediment-free rock structure here. And before long, we found very healthy colonies of cichlids. These clouds of fish are made up of numerous different species, and they all live right next to each other, capitalizing on slightly different niches in this environment. On the bottom, we found massive sandy disks which are nesting bowers created by male fish trying to attract females. And in some places the rock walls were so sheer that it was dark at the bottom. This is the area that I ended up in, poking my head into all these dark recesses. There was a whole different set of cichlid species in these areas starting with the, the mouths of these caves. Other cichlids actually feed on the fins of their fellow species, and in this case you'll see this fish has a chunk missing from its tail fin as it turns here. This is Labiotrophius, beautiful coloured fish about four inches long, striking blue, red fins, and the lights really bring up the colour and the darkness here. I'd also seen a beautifully coloured individual right at the back, and this is one of the famous Malawi butterflies, 